Hello everyone. I wanted to show you today what we're going to make, which is called tar Tarantula Halloween Cake Pops. And this is what they look like. I want to show you first some of the ingredients that you're going to need for this. Um, first off, what you're going to need is the, a cake pop. This is a raw cake pop. I figured that most of my viewers would be able to have the recipe. You can find it anywhere online. This happens to be um, a blue flavored cake pop mix. Um, and it's all been prepared. It was in the freezer and I've taken it out. Now the first, that's the first ingredient. We also have um, candy pieces, which is the shell. I use blue black and white but you can use whatever color you want. I wanted mine to be gray rather than the traditional black or orange for Halloween just to make it a little different. Um, I also have here some candy pieces. Uh, these I'm going to use for the construction of the spider that sits on top. Um, I also have uh, black uh, sugar sprinkles. Um, I also have some sprinkles that are shaped like stars. I use these for the eyes um, of the spider. I have orange, white, and yellow. And I also have some toothpicks that I'm going to use uh, when we get to the step of attaching the eyes. So first of all, I'm gonna take one of the cake pops. Just dip it in there, twirl it around, try to make a, a nice candy shell on the outside of the cake pop. Get some of the extra off. Okay, and now this is going to be the spider's body. What I do is I dip a little bit of that candy coating on top just to make sure that it's going to attach. I put it right on the top of the candy corn. And now I have some of these. Um, these are the little legs. And what I had done is I had cut, flattened and cut up one of these candy pieces, rolled it out and uh, rolled it in the sugar so it has a little bit of a furry kind of appearance to it and what I do is I dip it in I'm going to attach it right here one of the legs Here's another one. Candy corn coating on that. And a third one. What I do to, to cover up that extra candy coating is I put a little bit of this on. This is the sprinkles. Just to give it a little bit more of that furry kind of a appearance that a tarantula might have. And I'm going to do the other legs now. that out a little bit. I'm going to trim this one. Um, I have kitchen, uh, kitchen shears here. So 
I could trim it if I need to. Okay, got all three legs. So I'm going to put on the sprinkles to cover up that seam that I made there. Just put that around a little bit. And now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put them over here with the other cake pops I made, and I'm going to attach the eyes. So I'm going to put him over here. And I'll show you how we put the eyes on. This time I'll use the orange I'll take a toothpick and you dip a little bit, take a little bit of the melted candy and put it on the back of the sprinkle. Get my little guy. There's one arm. And do the second one. And there you have it, um, a per perfect tarantula for your Halloween party. Thank you.